Okay, sixth grade, lesson 91. This is on geometric formulas. So, basically what we're going to look at is four different things that we're going to do um, with perimeter and area. Okay? So that's a chart we're making. Okay, so I want you to think in your head, if I have a square, okay, how would I find the perimeter? Um, you would, you'd have to see two numbers and then add okay, each Okay, but side. for a square. I know, you need two numbers first, though. For, for perimeter? Uh-huh. No. Why is square different? A square makes up all equal sides. I know, but you need two numbers. No, you only need one number, because if I know one of them, then this oh, one is yeah. this one. Okay. okay. So that's all I was trying to say. So to find the square, if this was five, what would this be? Five, five, five. Very good. So we just really need one number when we're doing a square. Now a rectangle's different. Yeah. Okay, so how would I find the perimeter of this square? It would be uh, 20, Very but good. you would have to add each side. Right, so five plus five plus five plus five. Yeah. Okay, so would it be fair to say four times five? Yeah. Yeah. So the equation for a square is four times s. S means square. So whatever one of the, or s means side, you can say side two. So four times whatever one of the sides is. So this is actual the formula is what they call it. Do you understand four times s? Yeah. Okay. For area, how would I find the area of this square? Oh, the, um, let's see. Do you remember areas like yeah, you carpet times two two sides? Okay, so how many sides do I need to know? So if they're all five, okay, well, because then, one side is always going to be the same on all of them, right? Yeah. So so be twenty five. Very good, because you did five times five, right? Yeah. So would it be fair to say that the area of a square is s squared because you took a side and squared it yeah. five times five? So this is the formula for a square finding the area. Yeah. This are the, you know what to do, but these are just the formulas they give you. Okay. Now let's talk about a rectangle, and this one's you're you're a little bit more aware of. Um, okay, so let's look at a rectangle. Okay. What do I have to know to figure this out? You need two. Sides. I need to de definitely need two sides. Okay, so I know that one of them is length and one of them is width. Okay. Okay, would it be fair to say that, let's say this was seven and this was five. Okay. Could I do two times seven? What is this perimeter or area? We're doing perimeter. Okay, uh, two times seven. Would it be fair for me to do two times seven? Uh, yeah. To get what? To to get the total of those two sides, yeah. right? And then, so that's what? 14 plus 5 times Would I be able five. to do 2 times 5? Yeah. Okay. Which would be? Which would be 10. Uh-huh. And so 14 plus 10 is 20. 24. Okay. So the formula for this is this is uh, P equals, perimeter equals, two times length, to, uh, sorry, plus two times width. And the two and the L, whenever you see a number and a letter next to each other, it actually means times. So you see why that they do it like that? Yeah. Okay, now let's do the area. Okay, what is the area of this rectangle? How would I figure it out? The area, uh, it'd be seven times five. So length times width. Right? Mm -hmm. That was pretty simple because we already used to that one, right? Yeah. But that's the formula for it. This is the formula. If you're working with formulas, this is so what they are. you wouldn't even write, like, the answer to the thing? Yes. Well, right now they're just trying to ask you, okay. what are the, what's the formula for a rectangle when you're finding the area? Length times width. Yeah. See okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Now, we just got two more. Parallelogram. Now... This one you don't find a whole lot. You don't even have to do a whole lot of parallelograms. Okay? But with a parallelogram, it looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So basically it's kind of the same way, 
a lot as a rectangle because you have a length or a base times they would say um, a side or a height or whatever okay so how would I figure out the perimeter of this um you'd have to do the dotted line right that um we're not finding the area this is perimeter oh uh, well you'd have to have two num two numbers right? okay so let's do and seven then, and five and it'd be seven times two uh -huh. or two times seven and then okay. seven times two, and then two times five uh-huh and then what would you do with those two answers it'd be 14 plus right. 10 and then right okay so pretty much the same thing right uh-huh same as that one above mm -hmm. the length and the width I think they're calling it the base and the side so it would be B and S but it's okay as long as you know what you're doing you understand uh -huh. all right what about a parallelogram when you're finding the area um it just be focus length base times height yes why because it's you can never take the height of someone leaning Okay, you want them standing straight to get the right height. So guess what we have to do? That's where we do the dotted line. Good job remembering that. So would this five matter? Uh, kind of. No, only no, on for the perimeter. No, not really. It would the perimeter because you're you're taking all the outside lengths. Yeah. But on area, you're wanting the base times the height. Oh, yeah. The height is a straight line. So this was four. Okay. okay. So how would I figure out my answer? It'd be seven times four. Very good. So the area is base times height for a parallelogram. Yeah. Okay. And last one, triangle. Okay. Let's do one like this. How do I find the perimeter of a triangle? Excuse me, a triangle. Uh. Put out two numbers first and then... Okay. So we have to know the numbers. Do we have to know all of them? Yes. Yes, you do. Because this is side one, side two, and side three. And they're all going to be each different numbers. Chances are. So to find the um, perimeter of a triangle, it's just side one plus side two plus side three. Yeah. Still the same? Okay. Now let's find the area of a triangle. How would I figure it out? Um, okay, so let's walk through this. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have a triangle, all right? And with a triangle, remember that a triangle is half of a rectangle, mm -hmm. pretty much, okay? So when we know, so how would I figure out a rectangle's area? Oh, do length have... comes width, right? Yeah. Okay. So when when you're talking about a triangle, you're going to do base times height, and because it's half of it. So if you have the numbers of the half, then you can double them and then draw a square. Well, what you're going to do? Let's say this was three, this was five, and this was seven. Which which numbers are important for the area? Three and five. Three and five. Seven doesn't matter because we're only wanting the base and the height. And then you'd have to draw squares because it's because it's leaning, right? You said no. it makes up a Here's rectangle. Here's the height. So you only use three and five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's half of a rectangle. Yeah, okay? but that's what I was trying to say. So we would say base times height divided um, by two I guess. because it's half. Okay. Okay. So the formula is this: base times height divided by two. Okay, so I think that would be it. Let's do one. Okay, do you think you need this up here anymore? You think no. you got it? All right, so let's do one of the problems for this, and here's what it says. Write the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. That's what they're wanting you to do. Okay. Write the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. The perimeter? Think do about I what make you up do. numbers? No. Nope. The numbers are... Then substitute 8 centimeters for the length and 5 centimeters for the width. And solve the equation to find P, which is perimeter. Okay. Remember how we did it mm -hmm. earlier? Mm 
Okay, it'd be 2 times 8 and 2 times 5. Very good. So, P equals, perimeter equals 2 times, what was the length? 8. eight. And what was the width? 5. 2 times 5. Very good. And so, 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 5 is 10. And so, the perimeter is? Huh? The perimeter oh, is? Oh, 16, it'd be 26. 26. Very good. So, we'd say P equals 26 centimeters. Yep. Got it? All right, that's lesson 91.